Hello everyone, a very warm welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take you through how you can uh, make use of KSOS Dashboard Ninja Pro app and customize your own dashboards as per your requirement. Now for this video, I am pre-assuming that you have already bought the app from Udo App Store and have installed the same in your system. Now let's get started and show you how you can create your own dashboard with your own dashboard items. For the same, let's go to my dashboard module, click over it. Now in the menu section, you will see a menu called dashboard Man manager, click on it. Now let's go by creating a demo dashboard for you to see. Now click on create and give the name, uh, I'll give it sales dashboard demo. Menu name could be sales. Uh, show it under, of course, sales module and then click on save. Now we have created a menu for sales. Now let's go to sales. Refresh it. And you will notice that we have a sales dashboard menu being displayed in the menu. Wow. Click over it. Now when a new dashboard is made, this is how it will look. It's an empty dashboard. For now, for adding dashboard items, you need to click on this gear like icon called customize dashboard. Click over it. You will notice that there are two items in display, add item and uh, edit layout. If you click on edit layout, you'll be able to change the name of this dashboard. I don't wish to do that. So I'll just go to add item. Now, once you click on add item, you will notice that the window appears uh, for you to fill in all the details that are required for you to create your very own dashboard item. Now, the name field is not mandatory. If you wish to fill it, you can. Now, let me select the model. Uh, I will create a dashboard item for task model. So, I'm selecting the same. Now, as soon as the model is uh, you know, selected, you can see the domain field shows 28 records in it. Now, uh, coming to the date filter field, uh, it basically shows all the fields which have a date format in this particular model. So uh, now coming to dashboard item type, uh, you have basically eight dashboard item types to select from. I'm first going to show you the type. Now record count types, basically there are three uh, menus to choose, uh, options to choose from. Uh, count basically shows that there are 28 records in this particular model. Now sum will show that, you know, currently it's zero, but it will show the sum of all the records and average will show you the average of all the records. Now let's go with count for this one. Fine. Now uh, coming to layout, uh, there are six layouts being provided. Uh, so you can choose it as uh, as per your choice. I'll go with layout four. Now these are the UI configurations that we are given. Uh, so you can change the theme. You can change the background color of the tile. You can change its transparency as well. And you can change the font color and the its transparency as well. And then you can also change the icon being displayed here. You can also create and upload your very own icons. Uh, not only this, you can also change the icon color and adjust its transparency. Now, as I have shown you, now once everything is done, you can save this dashboard item and you can notice the same in your sales dashboard. Now let's uh, edit this item to show you, click on edit to show you how you can create uh, this particular dashboard item in different item types. Now once you change the dashboard item type from tile uh, to bar chart, you will notice that all these UI configurations disappear and you find you will find new uh, fields that you need to fill out in order to save your dashboard item as a bar chart. So let's convert like that, select bar chart. Now, as you can see, the UI configurations have disappeared and you have new fields to fill in. So measures is basically uh, what measures you want to have your bar chart in. For example, I want to see hours spent on task. What is the progress of those tasks? And what was the planned hours that were decided initially for the task? Now I'm gonna group it by customers. As soon as you fill in both these fields, measures and group by, you will see the preview of your bar chart here. So basically the light blue one shows you uh, the hour spent for that particular customer and the blue one shows the progress and the dark blue one shows you the uh, planned hours. 
for that particular client. So Deco Edit was a client ready, Matt was a client, your company Joe Wills was a client. Now if you want to sort by field, uh, is not necessarily mandatory to fill it, but it's basically completely on you. I will sort it by created on the task, created on date, and then sorted by, uh, you can go with ascending or descending, I'll go by ascending. And record limit, how many records you wish to show, I would like to go with uh, two. So you will see that only two records are shown. And then if you want to change the chart color palette, right now it's in the option cool. If you want to go with default, you can go with default. Cool one I've already shown you. If you want to go with warm, warm colors, you can go with this palette. And if you want to go with a neon palette, you can go with this palette. And you can save the same and see it on your dashboard. So this is how the bar chart will look like. Uh, now let me edit this dashboard item, which is a bar chart to show you how different dashboard item types will appear in your dashboard uh, that you customize. Now click on this customize item icon, which is in the form of a pen. Click on edit. Now in order to show you a better representation of all dashboard item types, I would like to increase the record item limit here. I'll increase it to three. And now dashboard item types, I will change it from bar chart to line chart. Now this is how your line chart will appear. Now let me change it to area chart. Now this is how your area chart will appear. Now let me change it to pie chart and show you the pie chart. Now in order to show you a better preview of pie chart, let me decrease some of my measures. Let me decrease the progress and the plan does. So now you can see a better representation of the pie chart. Our spent, our spent for deco edit and our spent for your company jewels. Now let me change uh, the dashboard item from pie chart to donut chart. Now you can see it here as well. Let me just increase some of our measures, progress and plan does. So as you can see for the de uh, deco edit client, the our spent is 30. The progress is at 45 and the planned hours are at 70. So now let me change the donut chart to polar area chart. So this is how the polar area chart will be shown. Let me now save the dashboard item. And go to sales and show you the dashboard item. Now for the last dashboard item type, which is the list view, I would like to create a new add dashboard item. So let's start by creating that. Go to this gear like option, go to add item. Now for the same, uh, I would like to create a list view for the sale order. So let me select the model as sale order. Now dashboard item type as list view and then Fields to shown in the list would be order reference. Click on it. Order reference. Total of the sale order and the untaxed amount. Now all this is displayed. Now what is the sort by field that you want to have, which could be the total of the sale order. Now, uh, when it comes to sort order by, uh, if you see the total is already uh, by default in ascending format, but if you wish to have it in the descending format, you can select the same and it will be displayed in the descending order format. Now for record limit, if you want to display only the top 10, you can select top 10 and click on the same and you will notice that the 10 dot uh, top 10 sale orders have been displayed in the descending order. Now this particular thing, the edit icon is being shown in the preview, but of course you cannot edit the same here. Uh, once you save the dashboard item, and go to sales dashboard, or once you click on any of these uh, particular records, you'll be able to see the sale order corresponding to that particular entry. As you can see here. 
So now let's go to sales. Now as you can see uh, these uh, icons that have been displayed over here. Uh, this particular first icon is the color palette that I showed you uh, inside the dashboard item uh, creation uh, window. You can change it from here as well. For example, this is in default. You can change it to cool, form, and neon as per your requirement right from outside. Now, this is a very cool feature here we have, which is the move and duplicate, wherein you can move this particular uh, dashboard item within uh, different dashboards. For example, I want to move this particular dashboard item from the sales dashboard de uh, demo to sales dashboard. You can either move it, like completely move it from point A to point B, or either you can also duplicate it. I would like to move this particular item. And I click on move. As you can see, the dashboard item has is not uh, visible here anymore. So let's see it in the my dashboard. And you can see the particular item, the task one that I created is over here because we moved the dashboard item. Now, if we go back to the dashboard that we created in sales, the sales demo dash sales dashboard demo, and if we now use the move uh, the uh, duplicate feature so first select the dashboard that you want to duplicate sales dashboard is the name and i want to wish to duplicate now so remember its name is sale order go to my dashboard and you'll be able to see our dashboard item has been duplicated it's available here as well and also in sales under the sales for sales dashboard Now for demo purposes, I've already created a sales dashboard with all our da dashboard items uh, properly uh, created. So you can see uh, all the tiles, the bar charts, the pie charts, the donut charts, the bar area charts, the pool area charts, and everything in synchronization uh, working uh, together. So this is how your uh, beautiful, beautiful dashboard will look like once you customize it. And uh, you can also apply date filter on these dashboard items uh, as per your requirement. Not only this, you can also uh, resize your dashboard items and move them around as per your requirement. For the same, go to this gear like icon, customize dashboard, and click on edit layout. Once you click on the same, you will be able to move your dashboard items, resize the same as per your requirement. And once you are done with the same, just click on save. So that's all we are providing in a Dashboard Ninja Pro app. If you have any further requirements or customizations, feel free to drop in your comment in our comment section.